Well, hello, my peeps. I thought we'd do this a little different today, make it a little bit more individualized. So here's a little review video. So what I want you to do is freeze the video thingy and do these problems. Then turn it back on when you have these six done, and I'm going to do them. I'll be doing them then. So freeze it, freeze it, freeze it. Okay, so whenever you have a product equal to zero, that's the key, equal zero, product, you set each one equal to zero and solve. So here you add one, divide by two, here you divide by four, so I have two answers, one half and zero. This one. Difference of squares, you got to factor it up. So x plus 2 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. Subtract 2. Here you add 2, the reverse. So my two answers are negative 2 or 2. Woohoo! This one, trinomial, factor it up. It's already equal to zero, so it's x plus three, x plus one. Three times one is three, but three x plus one x is four x. So set both of them equal to zero and solve it. So we get x equals negative three, or x plus one equals zero, subtract one, x equals negative one. Woohoo! Next one. I have it equal to zero, so I need a product. So I'm going to factor it. X minus four, X plus three. So X minus four equals zero. X plus three equals zero. Add four. X equals four, or subtract three. X equals negative three. Here, oh, it's not equal to zero, so I'm going to have to subtract nine to get it equal to zero. So uh, I'd have factor it now to get a product equal to zero. So x plus three equals zero, or x minus three equals zero. So I'm going to subtract three. So one answer is negative three. Add three. You always do the reverse when you're solving. Then this one, I'll bring it over a little bit. Oh, it's not equal to zero. So I'm gonna subtract seven X to get zero. Subtract eight. Now I cannot combine this with the X squared. I can just write it X squared minus seven X minus eight. So then I factor, so X minus eight, X plus one. Set each factor equal to zero. So add eight, x equals eight. Subtract one, x equals negative one. Now, I have three more problems for you to freeze the machine in a second. Oops, earthquake. Uh, freeze the machine and just factor these. You're gonna have to factor more than once. But go ahead and, so stop it, stop, stop, factor it, and then turn me back on. Okay, so GCF is the first thing we look for. So it'd be X squared, because X times X squared is X cubed. Three times one is three. Minus three times nine, and X times one is X then I can factor that. That's the difference of two squares. So I am done. This one, factor out an x. So it'd be x squared plus 4x plus 4. Then the factors of 4 that add up to 4 would be x plus 2, x plus 2. Can I do any more? Sure, that's a, a this times this, something times itself is a square. Woohoo! 
And then this one, factor out the GCF. So that's the difference of squares. So it'd be x plus 2, x minus 2. Thought maybe doing it by yourself, it might be a little more of a learning experience. But uh, hey, have a good day.